Welcome to Ofa. 45 degrees south, 169 degrees east, and almost as many degrees below. A place frozen in time, literally. Because in 1995, the temperature dropped to a ball freezing minus 21.6 degrees Celsius, making it officially New Zealand's coldest town. Yep, it's the Siberia of the South Island, and colder than a witch's tit. Pipes freeze, taps freeze, toilets freeze, even vodka freezes. And the only use for a fridge is to keep things from freezing. It's a wonder the livestock is still alive. Imagine a place that gets so cold, you ready for this, tractors won't work because the diesel freezes, uh, water bottles they say go solid at the bottom of the bed and you've got to put the bread in the fridge to defrost. Well, all that happens right here in a little place called the Ofa, which of course is in central Otago. It's been called the coldest town in the country. It's in fierce rivalry with neighbouring Ranfurly for the title. But back in 1995, it did record the country's most recent coldest temperature. But now it appears that Ofa is coming in from the cold. I happen to be passing on my tractor feeding out and next thing, pass go all the kids on skates. And they skate to the shop and home again. We were working with damp hands, with tools, you had to wear gloves or the tools would stick onto your hands. A sheep were sticking to the snow. We had to pull the prize them off the snow. If they sat down at night, they'd freeze to it. The, uh, the hands frozen on the perch, stone dead, and they didn't fall off until the snow thawed. Quite often, we'd put our, our bread in the fridge to defrost, because if we'd just left it out there overnight, we'd have, still have semi-frozen bread that we couldn't use in the morning. Fridge to defrost. And Bill wanted to um, make a tray of ice for his drink, and um, so we put a tray of ice outside and a tray of ice in the freezer, and the tray of ice froze faster outside than it did in the freezer. <laughs> we try to warn people that um, if you put your false teeth in a glass of water before you go to bed, you'll find them pretty frozen in the morning. In fact, there's no place more deserving of a good thawing out. So it's not surprising that the people from Knauf Insulation received a nice warm reception. What we try and do is, with projects like OFA, is get the community uh, talking about the, the benefits of, uh, of insulation and saving, saving energy. Walls were insulated. That meant new jib, the works. And every ceiling has been lined. In the end, 53 buildings were insulated in this town. Nothing was ignored, from brand new homes to lovely historic buildings like the post office here. The entire project took one year, and it cost $200,000. So now, all 50 residents of Ofa have a nice warm glow inside, even if they can still walk on water outside. Ofa, the town that came in from the cold thanks to Knauf Insulation.